so have you always lived in um, Royston? Uh, no, I used to live um, in a house in Tampa. Um, but since I've lived here, I've only lived in apartments. Apartments? Yes. And how long have you lived in, I guess for Kyle, but we'll repeat it. How long have you lived in the area? Um, see, I moved up here in 2015. And then, so I've lived, let's see, I've lived on my own in two years now. Okay, in Franklin County? Yes. You said Emanuel is in Franklin, is it in Franklin County? Yes. Okay. So Emanuel is like, it's in Franklin Springs. Okay. So it's like pretty much just college. Okay. And then the rest of the town is for us Okay. And you like it here? Yes. Do you have any family here? You just came for college? Yes, and I just kind of stuck around. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome that yeah. you just kind of were able to do that. Yeah, it being a small town, you make a lot of connections for jobs and stuff, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, so. and you teach third grade. That's awesome. Um, so do you live in an apartment now? Mm-hmm. How long have you lived in your apartment? Um, about a week. <laughs> I just moved oh. in. Oh, so. so you're real new um, in your apartment. Yeah, I used to live um, like right across the street over there. Yeah. And then I moved. There's like a little coffee shop with glass on top of it and I moved in there. Oh, really? There's a coffee shop in town? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a few minutes from there. It's called Centerfield, and it's, like, baseball themed. It's really cute. Oh, because the Thai cop. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to go so, there and get yeah. coffee. I would definitely check it out. It's right by the railroad track. Yeah. It's really cute. Yeah. Is that down, like, the Main Street area or not? Yeah, it's, like, the little downtown area yeah. down that way. Yeah, I passed through that. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so the date you moved in was a week ago to your current place. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'll... You ended up here because of college, yeah. but you have no family here. But now you have friends and people yeah. that you know. <laughs> like family. <laughs> like family. That's, this is important. Yeah. Um, so have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, or as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? No. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar. Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? Well, it was made for me because I rent, but, um, honestly, I don't really know too much about it. I've heard a little bit about it, yeah. but, um, I don't know too much about it. Yeah. Um, would you, if it was available, want solar? Um, I guess so, yeah, probably. And tell me why you would want solar, rooftop solar. Um, I heard it's, I've heard it's energy saving and, you know, good for the environment and everything, so that would probably be a good enough reason for me to get it. <laughs> yeah, so reducing your bills yeah. and also kind of helping with contributing to the, yeah. the environment. Um, all right. Q6. Why do you think being a renter means you cannot have solar? Um, well, I don't really um, have a whole lot of say in just the design and stuff of the the building so um, especially since it's an older building um, it was I think the town's old library or something oh, neat. so they really I don't know if it's one of those like historic district type things mm-hmm. um, you know where they can only do so much to the buildings but um, I'm sure just because it is very old there's only so much they're allowed to do with it really yeah do you have a, um, a landlord or did you go through like a leasing okay. office like do you know it's a landlord, okay. and um, she she owns the whole building, okay. but she rents out, like, different parts for, like, businesses and stuff, because yeah. it's, like, on a full strip, yeah. so. Does she seem like someone that would be into that, or do you have that relationship? I mean, you've only been there a week, um, so it's hard to say, like, yeah. you sign papers, <laughs> but is that something? I think she might be open to it. Yeah. Um, That's interesting about the historic buildings, because yeah. I've heard with different historic buildings that you can't alter yeah. The outside, and I don't know if that's. Considered. I don't know if they have that rule here, but I know like in a lot of areas where there are older buildings, you're yeah. very limited on what you're allowed to do with them. Yeah. So I'm, I wonder if that's like Has what to, reason why they wouldn't do it. Right. Because if it's old, right? They have specific rules against doing those right. Kind of things. Right. Absolutely. So, now, does your apartment have a roof on it? Are you kind of like a middle apartment or a low apartment, or is it like? It's it's got a roof on it. So it would be your roof. Technically, yes. the one you live under. Um, perfect. Let's see. 
All right, we're going to talk about rooftop solar adoption in general. Now, honestly, I thought I was going to be sitting here all bored just waiting for the laundry to get done. So. <laughs> well, that's what I was hoping when I was like, well, maybe people have time, like, because otherwise yeah. people are working, doing yeah. stuff. So, all right, so we're going to take a look at the United States. Okay. Um, I'm going to give you this pen. Okay. And where do you think people adopt or invest in the most solar? Could you draw that on the map? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. There are no right or wrong answers, so that's the good thing with this. If I had to guess, maybe just like draw a line. On so you the... Circle, draw a line, okay. star, whatever you think. I would maybe guess like most of like the southern states like through here mm -hmm. just because I mean I'm just trying to make an educated guess but like just because it's close to the equator it's sunny and yeah you know so, yeah and hot yeah absolutely <laughs> um, so, so that would be my guess like all these southern all the southern states. what makes these communities well so you think here in Franklin they would they would have it here in Franklin County, or do you just think in general, like people in Georgia have it and people in Florida have it? I think just in general, people in Georgia and Florida might have it. Um, Why do you think people here have the most solar on the rooftops? Being sunny, what you said. Yeah, just being the sunny weather and uh, to conserve energy, I think. And um, what kind of people live in these communities? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've, I've heard that, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about solar energy and stuff, but I've heard that it's really expensive to install. Even though it ends up saving money later, it's very, very expensive to install. So maybe I would just guess people who <laughs> have a lot of money. <laughs> so people have more money yeah. in this community. So um, you think that's going to be more rural or like urban areas or just pockets where people are just have money. Okay. I think it would be, um, like you said, more of like the pockets of the nicer communities mm -hmm. people who yeah. have, um, there's random spots where you see people who have like big pieces of land and nice houses and stuff, right. so maybe right. more geared toward those areas. Yeah, would absolutely. Be where it would be if it's anywhere around here. Yeah. So the people that adopt, what makes those communities different than like, let's say, your complex and here in town like yeah is it you think it's just more accessible or do you think people are just more thinking they have more money access or um I think it would be a money access thing I mean if I could afford to do that I probably would just because it would save money in the long run yeah um I don't yeah. know that would just be my guess yeah <laughs> so now as, as a renter would you invest on, in solar on a place you knew you might not you know can't take your panels with you. Yeah, you know, like if you had that up front cross, would that be something that hinders you knowing that? Um, I feel like if I could afford it, I would do it because I feel like it's one of those things. It's worth the, it's worth the investment, mm -hmm. in, um, just based on what I do know about it. Yeah. Um, so I would say yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so now we're going to talk about. Georgia. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. Sorry. Good. Um, so, in what community in Georgia do you think people have adopted the most solar? Now, this could be more than one if you want, so you don't have to. And you can circle okay. it or star it. So. Um, well, I don't really know this area. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much know this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would maybe guess, like, Atlanta and Athens. Like, around these areas probably like I don't really know what all these are but maybe like through these areas I've just driven through them but um you driven through them to go back to Florida yes yeah so that would be my guess um now what makes the Atlanta community or the, this one circled here what makes this community so different from people in Franklin County um well, Atlanta's very big, so there's lots of areas where a lot of wealthy people live. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there would definitely be more likely a bigger community of people using it there. Mm -hmm. What kind of people live in the Atlanta communities? Um, 
well, like I said, it's very big, so there's all different kinds of areas, and just what I've seen in, of Atlanta, there's, you know, the very low-income areas, but then also the very, very high city income areas, <laughs> so um, I feel like if you get more into the, the nicer city areas, that would be kind of where you would see that. So people, um, like a higher socioeconomic yeah. place yeah, for affordability. Because um, I know, um, just being a teacher, I know that Franklin County is a very low-income county. Um, so I feel like if you went closer to an area like that, then um, you would definitely see it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because it's expensive yeah. to install or to yeah. afford. I think that upfront cost is kind of a reason people turn away from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so the same thing with the Athens community. What makes this community different from people in Franklin County? Um, well, similar to Atlanta, um, you know, there's the higher income areas. Um, I feel like Athens is just kind of like a smaller Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's both the high income and low income areas, yeah. but I feel like you definitely are going to find more of the high income areas in Athens and you know, around here. Yeah. And do you think these high income, they're putting it on their roof, like their residential rooftops or their like businesses? Um, I would say more likely businesses than homes. Yeah. But that would just be my guess. <laughs> okay. So the same thing, just to kind of clarify, the higher socioeconomic status of this Athens area would be mm -hmm. the ones adopting. Right. And now I know you talked about this was a large city. Mm -hmm. Is it the demand, like you're saying, is it because it's so big, the demand for electricity is contributing, or is just that there's more likely people to adopt because um, of their incomes? I mean, I feel like it would probably be a little bit of both just because, like I said, there's the high income, and then it's also a city, mm -hmm. so... It's not Franklin, <laughs> not like Franklin County at all. Yeah. Um, there's definitely more of the demand for it. So yeah. I would definitely say it's like a big contribution of both. Yeah. Okay. So what about most of your close friends here in Franklin County or Georgia? Mm -hmm. um, do they have solar? Yeah. No. And why do you think they don't? Um... Most of my friends are renting. Like, even if they live in houses, they're rental houses. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's similar to my situation. They don't really have much of a say in the design of the house or anything. Um, but most of us are just kind of newly out of college, working jobs where, <laughs> yeah. where we don't really make a lot of money. So mm -hmm. that would be a big part of why. Right. Um, now, what about... Um, any, do you know anybody that maybe not your friends? Like, do, have you seen anybody here in town that has it on their house, rooftop solar? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> no. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. There's houses that I've, you know, driven by, like the nicer houses around here. And I'm thinking, like, they might have it. Mm -hmm. But I'm really not sure. So yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, it's hard to remember. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, I have a question just out of curiosity. What about... The aesthetics of solar rooftop solar panels. Like, does that would that be something that would hold you up for like getting it on your home? Like, have you seen them on like the front of houses where they like take up? The They're whole, like the big, like square black panel things mm -hmm. that go on the shingle. Um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, that might kind of hinder me from getting them too. Just depending on like how I design my house, I guess. Right. But, like, if it was the um, front, but, like, if you could put them on the back where nobody saw them. Yeah, <laughs> if I could put it, like, on the oh, back where you didn't really see it. Uh, yeah. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I might still get them if I couldn't, just because I feel like it'd be worth the investment. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not that picky either. Right. So, so it's really more about saving the money over yeah, aesthetics. Definitely. At least right now. For me, I'm I'm very like frugal. Mm -hmm. 
I'm a very frugal person, so I feel like it'd be worth saving the money to have it on the house, even if they were kind of ugly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. But. Well, thank you. Yeah, yes. no problem. That's it. Do you have anything else about any comments, anything else that I can record you about any of your feelings or opinions on rooftop solar um, while I have you here that I didn't ask? Is um, there something I missed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel sure. like that you've had the information has information been offered to you like um you know like do you find that it's hard to find this information at all do you find that you see I definitely think so I mean you know I I remember as a kid kind of learning about some of this stuff in school but um I feel like it's not really something that's offered to us as far as like information about doing it and everything um and I think it all in my opinion it all kind of goes back to costs like people are like oh well people aren't going to want to buy this it's expensive so um yeah yeah okay like I said I before this I really didn't know anything about this (laughs) so (laughs) 